Read. Verse 17. Be not overmuch wicked, neither be thou foolish. Why shouldest thou die before thy time? Be not over much wicked, neither be thou foolish. Why should a thou die before thy time? Mm -hmm. That's deep. Ecclesiastes 12 and 12. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 12. And further, by these my son be admonished, of making many books, there is no end. And much study is a weariness of the flesh. It says, of making many books, there is no end. And much study is a weariness of the flesh. But read on. Verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Let's hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Let's conclude the whole matter. Fear the Most High. Do what? Fear the Most High. Fear the Most High, read. And keep His commandments. And keep His commandments. Just the whole duty of man. Just the conclusion of the whole matter. Keep the commandments. Fear the Most High first and foremost. And keep His commandments, read. For this is the whole duty of man. It's the whole duty of man. Fear the Most High and to keep His commandments. Go ahead. For the Most High shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Second, Second Corinthians 5 and, and 10. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach Yahushua. He's he going to bring everything that we have done, every secret thing, into judgment. So this is how you want to do it. Do a Mashiach Yahushua. Read it again. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach Yahushua. Right, we all going to appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach Yahushua. Read that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to, according to that he had done, whether it be good or bad. That's right, whether it be good or bad, no matter how you look at it, everything that we're doing is being recorded, and the book's going to be open. Give me all Romans 14 and 10. Romans chapter 14, verse 10. But why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set a not, set a not thy brother? For we shall, stand, we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Hamashiach Yahweh So say, why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set at nothing thy brother? Why you look at thy brother like he's nothing? You just say a condition that my brother has to be in, we can look at him as nothing. No. That's how people can look at it. So why you judge your brother? Why does you set it not like your brother's nothing? For we must all stand before the judge's seat of my shot, y'all shot. We come to Matthew 25, 30. Matthew chapter 25, verse 30. One. 31. Matthew 25, verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. All right, so when the Mashiach Yahushua, who is the Son of Man, shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, 200 million angels, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. He's coming. He's going to sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all the nations. For all you that care about all these other nations, 
He's not going to get great from nation. He's going to separate all the nations. One from another. The Israelites over here. The Ishmaelites right here. The Moabites right there. The Ammonites right there. The Edomites right there. The Hamites right there. And the Edomites over there. To the furthest left side. <laughs> right? But he's going to put the sheep on his what hand? Right hand. On his right hand. He's going to put the goats where? Left hand. On the left hand. So now, spiritually, you have the sheep on the right hand. Who's the sheep? Matthew 15, 24. He's going to put the sheep on the right hand. Matthew 15, verse 24. What did he say? This is what Amash Yahweh Shai said. What did he say? But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The lost sheep of the house of Israel. So those sheep are the house of Israel that he's putting where on the right side. That's only one third on the right side. Right? So get Daniel's 821. So if you put the goats on the left side, who the goats? And you look at this for what it says and spiritually. Read. Daniel's chapter 8. Verse 21, and the rough goat is the king of Grisha. So the rough goat, we're going to put the goats on the left. So the goats are the, are the Greeks, the so-called white people. So it's about not only the way you look, but your spirit. Because your, our people are the first ones to stand up for the wickedness that's happening in this world. Especially, especially Caesar Borgia. That white image that Leonardo da Vinci painted over Mashiach that was shot. They're the first one to say, why y'all going against him? Why you going against him? That's wickedness. And I asked all the white people, I said, oh, what do you think? You think that the most high is white? He going to come from the fourth dimension as a white man and set a righteousness on this earth? They all bow. No, they don't believe it. They say he's from the Middle East. He can't be black. He couldn't be white. But nobody standing against the white image. Nobody standing against that. Who? Turn on your television and wait till eternity. <laughs> I've been looking for it. I've never seen it on TVN. I've never seen it on any of these so-called quote unquote high-level pastors that they call themselves teaching the people of this world. Nah. They ain't even touching that. But yet still on TV and they got this big giant picture on, on the wall behind them. And these mega churches, they have to have this picture in their church. Why? When it's a lie. They continue that lie. So that's why he said gonna put that's the mindset. Our people are ready to fight. Behind seeing horns on Caesar Boys here. That's our people, children of Israel. That's how destroyed we are for lack of knowledge. Now how you love them, and you're going to stand for that, and don't go against that, and don't lie to you. How you love the Most High, and they appear to be the Most High, they set themselves up to be the Most High, in all their movements, everything that they put out there. They are the Most High, they are the Most High. Who else say they're the Most High? What other nation? Nobody but the so-called white man. Name them. Come on, I'm telling you, you're on a conference call too. Name them. Nobody but them. And that's who you stand up for. They the only people that have done this. I ain't never seen no Japanese most high or Chinese most high, you know what I mean? <laughs> I ain't never seen no, I ain't never seen no, I have never seen it on these other nations. That's why I said I'm going to put the sheep on the right hand and the ghost on the left hand. That's the mindset too. See, it tells you that. I mean, all this is in the scripture. Get Isaiah uh, 13 and 14. All this is in the scripture as far as the mindset, the way you think. You're not getting away with anything. Ain't nobody gonna say ain't there no leeway, no leeway for you to say, I'm gonna skate in this way. No. Nah. You're gonna come to the straight gate and you're either gonna be right or you're gonna be wrong. That's why my shepherd should say, either right, good, or you're bad. You're, you're righteous or you're evil. Read that. He got something for you. So all you that wanna plead to the wicked, this is what he says to you. Read. 
Isaiah chapter 13, verse 14. And it shall be as the chaste robe. They're going to be as the chaste robe. They're going to be like a chaste deer. This prophecy, baby, because it's not going to happen to baby. And as a sheep that no man taketh up. As a sheep that no man will be bothered with. Read. They shall every man turn to his own people. Every man will turn to his own people. Those that can be. And flee everyone into his own land. So where are we going to flee to, so called be pro man? In a lot of you all little tribes, where you going to go? Where y'all going? You go wherever you think you go. You still already labeled an Israelite. You already, they already know you're an Israelite. Leave the country, go somewhere else. Oh, there, there. you're going to be safe. Multimedia, everywhere, you everywhere. Where the hell am I going to go? That they don't know who I am. Huh. Where you going to go when they don't know who you are? They know you came up in there. What you talking about? They listen to you right now. And you ain't saying that. <laughs> I get into that, though. Because <laughs> they work with Satan. This is what they think. Come on, you just seen the Holy Spirit gave Peter. You understand it? The most I had a lie spirit to come down to get into all the prophets' ears, minds, to kill King Ahab. Don't get it twisted now. Most I got his what? Right hand. And he most I got his what? Left hand. Who create evil? Most high. Most high. So don't get it twisted, because now you now you eliminate the most high. Mm -hmm. Put the stipulation on his power. His ways and thoughts, not our ways and thoughts. He's everything. Oh, yeah. They say it's Mother Nature. Yeah, Mother Nature. El Nino. La Nino. Little boy, little girl. Better recognize he consuming fire. The only reason why we ain't burned up, he ain't just toasted us, is because we have a Mashiach and the an and angels that are there groaning so sad that we can't even get that sad, it says. Here we are. Thinking that we all that we is, we'd have just learned how to read. We didn't learn how to read and still can't read well enough to be able to understand the mysteries of this Bible. Oh, what people, what our people say, oh, the King James Bible got too many these and thou's in it. Say that all the time. I done heard that since I was little. But here we are reading and understanding. Anybody not understand so far? Anybody lost from what we're reading? And you're reading, hopefully you're reading. Because that's how you get to understand it, through seeing these words, because he tells you, he don't want everybody to see these words and understand it. He don't want everybody to hear these words and understand it. Just because you say you're here, you ain't in church. This ain't no, this ain't, this ain't no Baptist church. You gotta look at these words, and the words have power. These words have power. Read that again, I. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 14. This is how you get the power, read. And it shall be as a chaste robe. It'll be as a chaste deer, read. And as a sheep that no man taketh up. Ain't nobody gonna be bothered with them, read. They shall every man turn to his own people. So all these other nations gonna turn to their own people, read. And flee everyone into his own land. And flee everyone to his own land. So people tell you to leave America, but where you going? You gonna go to your own land. Some people can't get out of here. They can't even get a passport. A lot of brothers, y'all jacked up because you owe child support. You can't even get a license. Let's go to get a passport. You can't do nothing. You can't even hardly get a job. Because you've been so down, and they wouldn't allow you to try to try to do better for yourself. And you go out there and do something to be able to make it. Next thing you know, you got a felony. Nobody wanna hire you. What you gonna do now? Like they talk about letting people out of jail for these minor crimes, but it do, does that felony leave them? Does the felony, they're going to let them out, but does that felony leave them? Or they're going to have to do something worse than what they did while they was there for like smoking weed or whatever they have, they went in there for, you know, some minor crime, dealing with some kind of mental, mental illness or something that they're dealing with. That's a mental illness to say you've got that but you got to have that to survive. Because you don't. You don't. Right? So they're gonna have some kind of mental mental disorder that they can't get a job. So what they gonna do? How they gonna how they gonna live? When they used to everything being taken care of, you know, in jail they got meals. These they ain't gotta worry about going out there hustling to get some food to eat. 
roof over their head, a place to stay, to let all these people out. Ain't don't think it's something that's beautiful. It's some kind of plan that Esau always had to make things worse for us. He got us put on us. He's, he's, he's sitting in a temple of the Most High. We're the temple of the Most High. So it's always some kind of diabolical plan of evil that he had behind the scenes to make himself look like he's an angel of light. B. Isaiah 13, verse 15. This for all of them that's joined unto them, B. But that's why the reason why I'm here because he said he will, he will set the sheep on the right hand and the goats on the left. Now this is talking about the Edomite nation. And all these nations trying to get away from them. But our people always join them. So what to say about that? Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. So all you that's joined unto them, what's going to happen to them? Shall fall by the sword. Fall, fall by the sword. You're going to be killed. Because you are setting yourself up to be killed. As it's been. And it don't matter if it's our family members, if it's our associate, our friends, those that you say is all right because they okay with you and you have feelings for them. Some of you have married into with them. It says what it says. When the Most High took the righteous and the wicked of the Israelites into captivity, slavery, and bondage, you think he saved any of them? He saved none of us. Just because we were righteous. Because of what the wicked done, of our people, we carried their iniquities and went into slavery, captivity, and bondage of all these nations. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. So we didn't love them. But we sinned against the Most High, just like it is right now. Think about it. You're taught you're not under the law. So you're taught, our people are taught that they don't have to follow the most highest rules and regulations. This is a known fact. So not following his rules and regulations, his laws, such as commandments. You think he's going to bless you? You go to the kingdom? You think this is not going to apply to them? Because what they're going to do, they're going to say, we're off, like they always say, we're wrong. But trying to follow and do the best we can to follow the laws of the most high, people come against us. Or they find some way to look at you and find some fault in you, but not dealing with really what we're supposed to be doing and coming together, loving each other, and caring for each other. We'd rather pick, pick this and pick that and pick at each other so that we can destroy each other, devour each other, rather than coming together. Everyone that's found shall be thrust through, it says. Everyone that's joined with them shall fall by the sword. That's what it says. So you have a choice. Everyone that's hearing my voice, no matter where you at, and you've heard it before, and some of you that haven't, you hear it for the first time, the Most High is not a man that he should lie. This is prophecy. Read. Verse 16. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. And their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives ravished. See that? Their children, our children was dashed between before our eyes. We see our children being dashed against the rocks. We got, I got books. You know. To show pictures of us being on gallows, burning at us, our feet. They burning us. As we watched our babies being dashed against the big stones and they came into this Western Hemisphere. Destruction of the Indians of Bartholomew de la Casas. They drew pictures of what they did to us. So what goes around comes around. He didn't do it wrong, shall receive for the wrong which he had done. And there's no respect for persons. So when you have a feeling about, okay, this is not, that's not right, then you better, you better take it over to Most High. Read 
read verse 9. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 9. Behold, the day of the Most High, while Mashiach Yahweh Shai cometh, cruel both with wrath and fierce anger. The day of the Most High's anger is coming. It's coming cruel with wrath and fierce anger. Read. To lay the land desolate. To lay this land desolate. Read. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. And he will destroy the sinners thereof out of it. That's what he's coming to do. So that's why we have to look at this and prepare ourselves for what's getting ready to go down. Verse 19. Isaiah 13, verse 19. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldee's excellency, shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. He destroyed five cities, Sodom and Gomorrah. It's gonna, that's how it's going to be. They're going to destroy this place. Because when you understand Babylon and the precepts, you know, Psalm 137, So this Babylon, the people say, ah, oh, Babylon is not talking about the Edomites. Babylon is not talking about Esau. Let's read what it says in the scripture. Let's read this. Psalms 137, verse 7. Remember, O Most High, the children of Edom. The children of who? The children of Edom. The children of Edom. Read. In the day of Jerusalem. In the day of Jerusalem. Read. Who said, raise it, raise it. Even to the foundation thereof. They said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. Even to the foundation thereof. That's when the Babylonians came in, took down our, took us into captivity, slavery, and bondage. And the Edomites came and burned down our temple. So we couldn't come out to worship anymore. And that's what they did during the time of the uh, Moors. Who are the Israelites? Just going by another name, like the, we had the Scythians, the Goths, the Vandals, the Spartans, the Corinthians, the Ephesians, the Thessalonians. We all Israelites, but we call ourselves by different names. Like I have 45 different identities.